This is a What's in the Box for Machi Koro, which is a two to four player game, as you can see here. Uh, it takes about 30 minutes. I haven't actually played it yet, but I wouldn't see why it would take any longer. And let's go take a look. Now, keep in mind, this is the original Machi Koro, not the new Machi Koro, uh, I think it's Big City Bright Lights or Bright Lights Big City edition. Uh, I prefer the artwork on this one, and I think the gameplay is approximately the same. So uh, keep in mind, this copy is a trade copy, so it has everything punched out, and they sleeved it, so which is which is nice. Um, there's a rule book, uh, two dice, because it's a uh, dice rolling game for production, in kind of an engine building dice rolling game. Uh, money tokens for buying uh, cards, and then all of your cards, which um, I think some of the best aspects of it is the cool artwork on these cards. So I, I, I've always, I've always really, I think the main reason I got it is the fun, you know, the fun artwork on each of them, the way it's designed. And I do think that uh, the new version of it kind of takes away from that, you know, fun, fun artwork on these it's like uh i don't know it, it, it's just i think it i think it's cool and kind of makes you feel like maybe you're like in a, a pleasant little japanese town or or something trying to you know expand your engine building empire so there you have it uh what's in the box for machi Kuro? there actually isn't a lot in there for the size of the box but i think that uh there's definitely a you know, the box is really nice, but there's definitely a push to make probably boxes larger than is necessary for when people see them on the store shelves. Now, now that more stuff is being purchased online, maybe that's going to start to change and we'll start to see smaller boxes. Um, and I, I think some things have kind of gone that way already. Again, uh, what's in the box? Machi Koro.